Hi guys, I am Aga Klich. Welcome to the last part of this tutorial where I present how to create this architectural visualization from start to finish using 3ds Max software and the Corona Render Engine. If you haven't watched the first part, the link will be in the description below the video. This is the current progress. The image is almost done and in this video we'll set up the rendering and then we'll be doing post-production work to make it look way better. Let's go to the render settings. In the scene tab, I will set the noise rendering limit to 2%. This way the image will not render forever and will stop at this point. This is pretty much it. This is the beauty of Corona Renderer. You don't have to worry about the complicated settings at all. I will also add some render elements that will help us later in Photoshop. I will add a Z-depth path, which has depth information and a volumetric path, which has information about the fog. In Z-depth path, we have to set the black value. After a certain distance, everything is black we have to drastically increase this value, as right now, all we see is black. Even more. Great, that is the result we want, a gradient from white to black. Here is what the volumetric pass looks like. I will also add a wire color pass, which will help us with selecting in Photoshop. Here it is. Great, we are ready to render. After the rendering is done, save the files and jump to Photoshop. Here I have the main render and the render elements we've added. The volumetric pass has information about the fog. We can use it to increase the aerial perspective effect. Let's change the blending mode to screen. To make it less visible, we would have to lower the opacity, but in this case I want to make it stronger, so let's duplicate this layer a couple of times. Now we have some nice separation between the foreground and the background. I will group it all together. Then let's use the ZDEV pass to make this effect work only on the cliffs in the background. Let's move to the channels tab and select the RGB channel. Click on it with the control key pressed. Then add a mask to the group. It works exactly opposite to how I want it. So we have to invert the mask using control plus I shortcut. Let's duplicate the fog a few times more. I don't want this strong effect on the sky, so I will select the cliffs and water and create another mask. I will use the wire color pass and make the selection using a magic wand. Great! I will also take some passes from the group, so they are working on the sky as well. It is too much. I will keep just one pass. Lastly, I will select water and paint out some areas which are too bright. Great, let's see the before and after. Next, I will brighten the center of the image and darken the edges. This way will bring the attention towards the center of the image, where the swimming pool is. I will further the selection. Then we can add curves and make the image brighter by moving the middle of the curve up. Then we can duplicate the adjustment layer, invert it and move the point down to make the edges darker. Great! Next I will add another curve adjustment layer and add a bit of contrast by creating an S-shaped curve. I will also reuse this layer. I will make it black and using a white brush I will paint over the lady in the swimming pool. This way the effect will work only on the white areas of the mask. Then I will use curves to make this area brighter. The blues are a bit too saturated. I will use the hue and saturation adjustment to tone them down. I will also adjust the reds a bit. Great! Next, I will select the sky and make it a bit darker. This time, I will use the levels adjustment layer. I will 
adjust the mask a bit so it blends better with the cliffs. I will also adjust the sea. I will make it more contrasty with the levels adjustment layer. Here also I have to adjust the mask with the brush. And that's it, here is the before and after. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, we are able to create this image in less than 20 minutes. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel and stay tuned for new videos.